So I wanted to go through and give my official thoughts on each skill, all three skills. I'm going to do sailing and I'll have two other videos for the other two um, skills as well. And just, it's going to be like 5, 10, maybe even max 20 minutes talking about what I think of the skills and why I think, what I think you should think about before you vote. Now, before we do go forward, it's worth obviously mentioning that you can absolutely vote no to all of these skills. You don't have to like any of them. You're more than welcome to say no to any skills, no to all the skills. Turn this fucking music down. Because you don't have to vote for one. If you're on the fence, don't be afraid to just say no. But in my opinion, I'm going to be as unbiased as I can as with all three skills. But there's no hiding the fact that sailing was my least favourite of the three. Um, but I don't think it's a bad pitch what, what Jagex has pitched to us. Um, because I think a lot of the concepts that we saw on YouTube from other content creators uh, that were giving out ideas, Jagex took the best parts of those concepts and then implemented um, their own concept to it as well. Because I, I know that Jagex can actually give us a good skill. They can give us, a, regardless of what skill comes through, they're going to give us something good. I think sailing can obviously be bigger than a skill. That's what something I've always been vocal for. But I don't think it's going to necessarily be a bad thing if it does go to refinement. Now, a lot of people are worried that, oh, because it was an April Fool's joke, it was a meme, we want to play Sea of Thieves. The opinion, the opinion of Sea of Thieves, if anyone ever says, oh, Sea of Thieves, so why play RuneScape? I immediately write you off as an idiot and I, don't, I no longer listen to your opinion because you're not thinking about it properly. You don't have to like the skill. That's totally fine. But you have to look at the flaws and the positives of it. This can bring a lot of content to the game and a new way to play RuneScape. It can bring, yes, new islands, new places to discover. It doesn't have to be selling to be able to actually implement that content, though. You can just add new islands and places anyway to discover. It's a, it depends if you feel like you want to have some sort of engagement to discovering new places on the map and new islands, rather than just a quest that unlocks... Um, what's it called? Uh, Fossil Island. Um, I think overall sailing can bring some of the biggest content to the game of the three skills. I think, personally, it will be limited by the fact that it's a skill. I think it can be less of a chore and um, it could be more customizable on the way you want to progress the skill if it was tackled uh, through the um, same direction that like combat achievements are tackled. Biggest lag spike to the game. Oh, we're doing sailing? I doubt it. I doubt it very much. It would be very easy because they'll just load certain quadrants at the time, right? They're not going to load the entire sea at once. That's why you, like, sometimes you have a loading screen where you're waiting to load different areas in the map depending on what your settings are in marine light. Um, but overall, I think it can be also a whole lot of fun in the game. It depends on, again, it's, it's all about the refinement stage of these skills, right? Jamos did say the idea of sailing would not be instanced. Uh, that's... I thought they said that it might be instanced. So you would just sell past the other people doing shit? Oh, okay. I thought that they said that it would be instanced. Maybe I heard it wrong in the video. Um, but I think it's worth noting that... Oh, fuck. What was I going to say? It, Regardless of either of the skills that you vote for, you, like until it goes to refinement stage, this is just a core baseline concept. So you might not like the idea of sailing, but when they refine it, you might actually really enjoy it. Because... This is, this is just like a general direction they want to take a certain skill. New ways to fish, new ways to fight. There might be a new best and slot fish that requires sailing. There's definitely potential to unlock things. Whether it should be... Um, wh whether it should lock, lock you out of different islands, I don't really enjoy the idea of that concept. But I think the more important thing for this skill is that the way that you control your boat is important. There needs to be, it needs to be fun and engaging without feeling like you're running agility rooftops to be able to level up sailing. It needs to be smooth, it needs to make sense, and it needs to not be too tedious that you don't want to sail to a different island, but not be too quick that it's it feels like you're not getting enough involvement out of actually using your boat. Because then, like, if it's too long, or if it's too much boat interaction to actually do anything in the game, do you then just worry about quick traveling, which then defeats the purpose of using your boat? So I feel like there's a lot of places this can go uh, wrong purely just with controlling the way that you actually navigate your boat. All boat movement should be like Bone Voyage. That was terrible. Bone Voyage sucked ass. That was so fucking difficult to use. I reckon they could do way better than that, to be honest. 
I, I just I just really feel like the, the, the thing that needs to really get right more than anything is actually navigating your boat. Because yeah, like I said, if it's too long, if, if you spend too much time navigating your boat, it, it will start to become a chore. If you don't spend long enough, then it might not feel like you're really getting the most out of your boat. Am I wrong in thinking it's like a jelly buffer water? It depends, but well no, you, you'd be wrong in thinking that because I haven't refined it yet, so you don't know what it's going to be like. But it very well could be if it's too much. I like sailing personally. The other two suggested skills were like really cool additions to the game in the form of something else. New prayer book, existing skill expansions. Well, I think the same could be said for sailing, right? Because sailing could be... not. A, I don't think it should be a minigame. The idea of it being a minigame is wrong. I think the, the concept obviously can fall under minigames, but so can raids, which raids used to fall under minigames until very recently. Same with the Inferno and uh, the Fight Caves. Uh, I don't... Maybe the Inferno still classes a minigame in Fight Caves, but raids are no longer considered minigames. But they used to be up until uh, the 2A release. I feel like the, there's, with all three skills, there's different directions you can take it. But I think for sailing, you should definitely could not think about it as Sea of Thieves, not think about it as the April Fool's joke from nine years ago. You should think about what you think, what, what you believe can go right and, co and can go wrong. I think the biggest thing that can go wrong is the navigation of actually controlling the boat and getting either the most out of your boat. Because if you have boat customization, you want to be able to use it. But if it's going to spend the whole time in the dock or on the shore, it's no point. But you don't want to make it feel like a chore. As for the content that can be added to sailing, the islands, the PVM aspect, the skilling aspect, that is limitless. That's a no-brainer. It always has been. And I think the way that Jagex can take the direction of the skill can really just go beyond anything else in the game, which has always been uh, a fact, I guess. I just feel like it could be much bigger and better than a skill. That might, that might save it from um, having a few of the risks that it, that it may introduce. Also, I'm going to hate having to uh, make cannonballs for it if it's going to consume my cannonballs even more. But, that's, that's my brief rundown of sailing. I think it can work, and I think you, need to, you should consider what you want out of a skill like sailing. It says sailing is coming to the game. Picture it like this. If Jagex goes, Jagex goes, we're not polling a skill, we're getting sailing. You just help us design it. What would you want out of it? Instead of being like, oh, no, this is a CFA, this is a fucking April Fool's me. Think about what would you want if you could choose. What would what would make you want sailing? Because that's what they're going to ask about in the next section. Could have called it M Marina. Kind of like Hunter. Or it could just be sailing. It's like Cody. Should be like voyaging or something. It depends on it depends on how much sailing is involved. It's a shit name. Most of the content isn't sailing. Well, it depends. What if the most of the content is sailing? You know, if they don't have too many islands, then sh I mean, I don't think the island idea is really smart because I don't think islands should be locked out of not being able to teleport or fast travel to. I, I think I think if if it's going to be like twenty different islands or ten different islands that you need sailing to get to, I think that could be really that could go really far south. I think it, it, unless it was like the hot air balloons where it's like you travel to the island, then you can fast travel there whenever you want. But then that might eat into the idea of using your boat. So I think there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, planning and, and balancing that needs to go into spending the right amount of time on your boat and then not spending too much, like not making it feel like a chore to get from one place to the other. I think that's that's what really is important. Which I think of uh, uh, things like Herblor, uh, Herbivore bleeding, blending Hunter and Herblor into this great skilling method. Need to incorporate methods that blend skill into sailing, in my opinion. Well, that's what they will do, right? Sailing is far too broad of a concept to be a skill that levels 1 to 99. Well, that's why I think it should be, like, you should get a log like this. It doesn't have to be just like the combat achievements log, but have it so you have different, instead of easy, medium, hard, elite, master, grandmaster, you just have, like, uh, specific things to do with actually, like, with your boat. Maintaining it, constructing it, um, and, and, uh sailing it then you've got like activities doing on the boat like fishing related activities on the boat or skill like um, scavenging related skills on the boat pvp or, or pvm related boat things um just voyaging in general and then you have different things you can explore different and then you can customize the way you want to actually develop your sailing adventure rather than you need to get to this level to be able to do this certain content turns out it's shit and it's a chore to get to per that's my opinion on sailing I think it could be bigger and better. I personally won't be voting for sailing. If you like the idea, you have a better idea, obviously feel free to leave a comment in the section and say what you need to say about it because 
I'm always open to hear other people's opinions. Um, I personally won't be voting for it, but I don't think it's necessarily going to. I think it'll be it'll be fine if it goes to refinement. I, I, I have faith that we'll get something good. Like I said, once everyone finds out the, the mega fast XP raids, it'll just be another skill to hurt or hurdle. Yeah, well, that's going to be the same even if it wasn't a skill. Like, look at raids. It's the same thing. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him. God damn. Fuck me. Look at that boy. It's huge. You got a big boy.